All right, in this video, we're going to unbox two brand new half inch impacts. Uh, the reason I got two brand new impacts is my old impact gave up the ghost here. Uh, she just started losing power and not working as good. So, what's better than one broken impact? Two brand new impacts. <laughs> so, we bought the one air one, basically uh, the exact same as what I had. And then we bought. Uh, one 18 volt Milwaukee, which I have not had this tool before. So I'm looking forward to digging it out of the box and using it to see how it compares to the air one. All right, let's open up these boxes. Ooh, gotta be smarter than the box, I think. And without much fanfare or ado, let's pull her out. So basically it's just a tool in a bag. Um, and I guess a little instruction book here. A little manual. Not that anyone ever reads the manual. And then the ads. Ads for the other Milwaukee tools. I, I did not buy the battery. Uh, the, or the one with the battery kit. Because I got a ton of batteries. So this one without the battery. This costs around, say, round at 220 bucks. This one cost 274 bucks so the air one was more expensive uh and less powerful i guess this one is rated uh for 50 pounds less than this one so let's see what's in the box of this guy how do you open this guy up here pretty much package exact same way put it in a bag and some manuals in there so not much to that. All right, I'll get an air fitting on this guy and I'll get a battery on this guy and we'll see what we got going here. All right, first impressions. This is a lot heavier and it's not as balanced as the air tool. But the air tool, you do have to have a hose hooked to it so you're dragging around the hose. So I guess it's trade-offs to everything. And then noise-wise, that's a heck of a lot quieter than, than that. Although, just from the noise, you know, you, you would think this one advertises being two times faster. But, man, will it beat the air impact? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, it's time to do a speed test on these. Uh, the box for the Milwaukee claims that it's two times faster removal. Well, we'll find out here. We got the, the Ingersoll on high. Uh, the Milwaukee, we'll hit the button here. Milwaukee's on high. These lug nuts I torque to 100 foot pounds, so they should be even. And let's go. <laughs> Um, seems about the same time, but it's hard to, hard to tell. We'll stick them on with a little torch stick and we'll do it again. Okay, it's definitely a different feeling. Boy, I would say it's too close to call. Um, right now, after the little bit of use I've got with uh, the two tools, um, quite honestly, in the shop, my go-to will still probably be this, just because it's that, it's lighter and it's it's more balanced, seems a little easier to use. But uh, I think this thing, for guys on a service call, will be invaluable. I mean, I think this thing will be fantastic. So. I'm looking forward to to using the heck out of the using the heck out of both of them and uh, 
if any of my opinions change, I'll uh, make a little update video. But right now, I'm happy with both my purchases. Now I'll do a little video on taking apart the other one, the old broken one. All right, we got the old tool here, the old Ingersoll Rand uh, Impact. Uh, the only uh, difference with this one between the new one I got is this one is the Quiet Max. But I'm kind of curious what's inside of here. Alright, took the four screws out, separates the nose and the, and the back here, alright, we got a nice little gasket, does this come out of there, oh yeah, alright, and there's what we got uh, in our base here, alright, let's see how much of this comes apart. Oh, yeah. That comes off. Got our little veins here. Nothing's appearing broken. Not all of them are... Uh, Are working very good though. Maybe if I douse this, clean them up, and I douse this thing in oil, maybe the thing will uh, start working. Okay, there's a little motor basically. Oh, little bearing popped out there. All right, take one more look around this thing. Got our little lever here back here that adjusts the power. All right, seen that. Now we got our nose cone here. This stuff come out of here? Yes, it does. Okay, there's a look inside the nose cone. Is that impact shaft and our, our little anvils. Now let's see, when we turn this, what happens? Ah, they move. Must be some kind of cam in there or something, I'm gonna guess. Alright, that one comes out fairly easy. Oh, that comes out. Oh, one dropped. Does this thing pull out of here? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's what we're looking at for a shaft. Alright. Ooh, kind of stuck together. Smiley faces. <laughs> All right. Basically, that's what's inside of there. I didn't know. Now I do. How hard is it going to be to put her back together? Oh, must only come out the one, the one side here. All right. Get the other one. All right, we got them two pins back in there. It's kind of slippery. There we go. Magic. Back in there. They still working? Yep, all right, let's put it back in here, see how that whole thing just kind of spins around in there, all right, now we got this bad boy here, and it had this wrapped around it, well, I think I'll take this apart and I'll clean these 
Ooh, maybe I won't. They don't come out. Oh, yeah, they do. All right, I'll clean this up, and I'll uh, put it back together, and heck, maybe it'll work again. Time will tell. All right, got the old one back together. Before, it wouldn't take off a lug nut. Let's see if it does now. Yes, it does. Not not with as nearly as much power as the other ones, but uh, it took her off, so she still works. All right. Nothing wrong with that. But, shh, don't tell my wife. 